Guys, welcome back. So today we have a TXG exclusive. Mm, exciting. This is, a, this is a first anywhere. So we have the brand new VA Nemesis shaft. Nice. So uh, very cool graphics. Pre-released, but this is what it will look like, I'm assuming, yeah, on the graphics. Yeah, we can overlay some, some nice yep. kind of pictures. Uh, the whole idea with Nemesis is that it is extremely high balance point. Right. So extremely counterbalanced. So your head is the perfect one to test this with. Being heavy, obviously, yeah. being on the heavy side. We done a little measuring before we uh, we obviously you know flicked the camera on here, mm -hmm. and there was a full three swing weights of difference between what you have in yep. the Ventus Black and uh, what we have here in the Nemesis. So give us an idea of how extreme that is in only changing the shaft. They're the same length, everything's the same, just the shaft itself is different. Three swing weight points, is that like you've never seen that kind of thing or is that basically as it much would, as you've seen? Yeah, it would be, it would be very extreme and, okay. and something that recently uh, we've seen uh, a little bit more and, and this is kind of a, a similar idea to what uh, you know, other companies have done, but mm -hmm. basically the, the the secret to get it is, is actually putting tungsten in the pre-preg in the, in the butt section. So there's tungsten powder basically yes. in this in, material. In the butt section. Right. So there's, that's that's kind of how they've managed to get that balance point extremely high. And, you know, Interesting. When Victor and I were talking about the, the shaft and you know, he's like, no, it's like I've went, I've, I've tried to make something that is, is very different. I mean, it makes sense. Like what would be the point of just throwing another, I don't know, I don't want to say the same product. It's obviously sure. not the same, but it's in terms of you're trying to counterbalance something. There's mm. probably plenty that are kind of moderate, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. better to be somewhere in the industry that they someone needs to go to this when they need it, kind of thing. Exactly. So I think in terms of the range that he's developed and has built since he started VA, he is now a very a very diverse line. Yeah. Um, you know, from a price point and also from a bend. Profile, profile standpoint. standpoint yeah. So you're also looking, you've got, you know, Ryzen Black, which what he That's released right. that uh, yeah. at the show last year, we saw that. And to go with the Ryzen range, go with Slay. Obviously, Villain has done mm -hmm. very well for us, a shaft that's done really well in here. Mm -hmm. um, Drago has also done very good. So uh, really curious, and, and I, haven't, I haven't kind of, he hasn't divulged to me too much about the Ben profile yet. Okay. I think yep. he kind of has done that on purpose, though. So we can just so we can go give it, tell yeah. him what it does. Good. You know, I think a bit like that titleless prototype golf ball. Like mm. you guys tell us what, what what you think it is. I like that. So I do as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's a nice way to test without any preconceived notions of you know what, if it's a uh, you yeah, know low launch, low or... launch high launch. <laughs> how the eye curve evolves. So I mean, it's kind of a blind test. Obviously, we know flex, we know weight, and we know the counterbalancing mm -hmm. aspect. But beyond that, it is kind of like a blind test it for is, us. It is. Um, just really quick, just in case someone, I know we've done a few counterbalance videos. If someone doesn't know why, mm -hmm. aside from what you just mentioned with the build, yeah. counterbalancing with drivers can be beneficial so that you can get more ball speed out of the Correct. heavier head Correct. without throwing yeah. off the swing weight. Exactly. So it, at times it is, is advantageous to have a heavier club head mm -hmm. to make it slightly more forgiving. Yep. Okay. Up, so stability up the, up as the well. MOI yep. And also produce a little bit more ball speed. Right. That can be the detriment of consistency of delivery if you feel like the head is too heavy. Gotcha. So that's that's where obviously things, you know, we, we have to balance out the, the, the components that we're using. Perfect. Okay. okay. So let's let's get some baseline numbers with you with, with Ventus. Okay. Swing there. Those last three were really good. That's good. Okay, um, so obviously you've got the unfinished paint version, the one without the, the sort of nemesis decal yep. that, that is kind of subsequently on there. And your one actually has a, has a high kind of gloss finish and, and the finished model has a, has has a, a matte finish yeah. as well. So uh, that's quite literally the prototype that was sent out to people like ourselves to yeah. test. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. 
Let's see what happens. It definitely feels a little different, kind of just waggling it around. The balance feels different, obviously. Clearly a need of a counterbalance shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally hear all the I told you so's right now. Oh, oh. A little toey. Good though. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's just got to be horrendous for the potential bank balance to hit everything and, and hit it better than what you've got. Or just demoralizing in general, I think. <laughs> Never mind the money. <laughs> How good is that? So is it possible that a lighter head gets, like I'm, obviously I'm struggling with the club falling behind me. On, on your one? With, yeah, it seems to be. And, and my irons too, obviously. But would a lighter swing weight be easier to, to move in front? Like more neutral path? Yeah. Because I don't think I'm consciously doing anything different, but I feel the head kind of coming back more in front of me. Yeah, I mean, you've got all those sort of potential outcomes. The reality is, I just think it always just comes down to a game of timing. Right. Which one you time better than, yeah. than the other. I just think the biggest thing to me with this one is it seems like you've, you've eliminated that curvature that you had with, with yours. It launches fractionally higher because uh -huh. the face can stay open a little bit more. Yep. Slightly, slightly more neutral looking flight to me. It doesn't look like it, it curves as much. And I'm not sure, I'm, I'm assuming I've, I've gone after the last couple more because I'm trying not to steer it as much maybe. Yeah, maybe so, but like th that is so different. What Inventive. else do you think could be going on like with the, the pro? Like I'm not trashing mine, obviously. There's a time where that fit me fine. I, I haven't swung in much in a few weeks and I'm coming in a little, Yeah. coming in a lot, I guess, shallower and more in to out than I usually am. So clearly something with maybe more than just the balance point is is helping my timing. I don't know. I just don't know if I've ever seen you hit it straighter than this. <laughs> I don't know either. Look at look at those last look at those last few. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Leave that up there. <laughs> 340 yards and it's literally the size of a dispersion like a penny. <laughs> Outrageous. 177 13 23. Maybe a groove low. Yeah, it just spun a little bit more, but it still had plenty, plenty on it. But it's more middle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. That's, that's the biggest thing that I'm seeing. Do you feel like the shaft is a fraction softer? I do feel some kind of kick, I guess, where I feel the club coming that way. So uh -huh. maybe there's more. Do so you feel it loading and, and so maybe unloading a little feel, more? Yeah, impact especially, I feel there's quite a bit of yeah. motion. And like, I feel some of this. Um, I don't know, maybe it is a bit softer in that section than, than mine. Kind of helping me get it back to back to impact easier. Good swing. Good, good swing. Yeah, interesting. Probably not what we expected. Not so much. No, I, I think it it felt more active than mine. Probably more of a kick to it. Yet I think it kind of seems like it played stiffer in terms of what the numbers would more indicate. stable yeah, yeah sorry more yeah. stable yeah. yeah I think it, it the numbers show that but yet in your hands I don't think that's really how it feels there's no question to me that the biggest <coughs> difference was a spike in, in uh, ball speed was, mm -hmm. was very evident it did not want to turn over you, you actually turned over the last two if you look at the kind of table yeah. well, there I kind of pull I guess I sort of I, I tried to fade them and didn't fade yeah. them is what I would call it um, you turned those last couple a little bit, but I mean, it gave you it gave you a little extra gear, didn't yeah. it? it? It just felt, um, just timing felt better. It just felt like it, it matched up better at impact. I just think I could swing through it a little yeah. bit more. Well, just swing through it and just let it go a bit mm -hmm. more was probably how I would describe it. Yeah, and, and there's going to be a lot of people who are 
thinking about head weight, maybe like to use a little hot melt in their drivers, maybe yep. they like to dull the sound down a little bit and right. you know, all of a sudden their driver doesn't work so good anymore and they take it to a local club builder and they go, yeah, your swing weight's D7, mm, D6, okay. something like that, and maybe they don't have the club head speed that you have to right. handle that. And, and you know, this type of profile is, is one of the answers to that. I'm not even sure that I have the club head speed to handle my swing weight anymore either, apparently. It gets maybe a little bit on the heavy side, it's yeah. hard to say. Very, very interesting. Smooth by the feel. Very, yeah. yeah. Didn't, yeah. didn't feel like it was harsh or, it, Not or at all. you know, overly stiff. No. As I said, I think it feels more, sort of more active, more smooth in your hands than, than probably even mine does. And I don't think mine feels overly stiff, mm -hmm. but even relatively. If I were to, if you were just to tell me, like, waggle it around, yeah. what do you think? Yeah. I would not have guessed, you know, a 65X kind of. You know, what we'll see is, what heads does it pair with? That's right. more important. What heads and what golf swing That's tendencies right. does it does What's it the golfer? Suit? What's the golfer who needs to be thinking about this as an option? Um, and, and I think it's the golfer who can benefit for, from some additional head weight. Mm -hmm. Maybe as a, as a ping player, we obviously know ping is a significantly heavier head weight than others. Yep. But the, and, and the flip side of this, guys, you know, if you're on the lighter head weight side, maybe using some of the lighter Callaway shells out there, you might not want to go down this route. You might want sure. to be very careful if you're watching this and go, yeah, but I've got a you know, calorie roll from last year. It's the standard version and it's 192 grams and you mm. put something like this in it and it goes down to like C9. Right, yeah. That could be a big problem for you. You could lose all feeling for where that club head is. <clears throat> Unless, again, it's, uh, I think being aware of that, at least if you want to make that yeah. pain, you just need to know some aftermarket yeah. modifications to the head Absolutely. will then be necessary to, to keep that that weight balance. Absolutely. So anytime you're trying a product this list, we'll, product like this, we'll mm. say, you know, tread with caution because you're going to have to be cognizant of your mm. build implications. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Take a picture of that because if you ever wanted to know what your ideal driver delivery model yeah, looks like, that's it. When you've got a club face that's open to the target that keeps the start line, obviously, this uh, is obviously down, down the, yeah, this is right handed, but it yep. uh, keeps the, the start line down the left. It's got a face angle that's closed that ensures that the curvature has slight draw to mm -hmm. it. It has enough loft that it gets the launch, you know, right in a beautiful window, 12.4, 12 2200 spin at 170, just round that up to 178. Yeah, it's, this is as good as it's been for me, for sure. Yeah, get it wrapped in under the Christmas tree. It's like the prototype version, then. no one will know <laughs> what it know. is. <laughs> Even better. Cool. Cool. Okay, guys, uh, hopefully. You know, some of you watching are, are, you know, hearing this description and thinking, you know, you're maybe in this boat with regards to the driver head you're using or yeah, yeah. maybe something you're thinking about doing to your own club head. Maybe you've got a little excessive face rotation. You're thinking of hot melting the toe or the mm. heel or something. And you know that additional weight will cause you a swing weight problem. So how can you offset that? Things like this is, is great having the ability to add a little additional weight, especially low and back. Mm. We hear yeah, that yeah. a lot these yeah. days. You know, we about, definitely hear that a lot uh, these a lot. days. <laughs> so being able to place the weight in that mm. spot is, is advantageous. So you're almost saying use that as like an MOI increaser. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then now you could potentially keep your swing weight okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's lots to think about. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not one thing, as you always say, right? There's, you're allowed to do that because you can change sure. other aspects. That's it. It just it gives you options. When you use a, a shaft like mm. this, it, it does. It gives you some great, great options with regards to what you can do with the head to influence, obviously, things like ball speed, MOI, rotation, mm. all those sorts of things. So it's just it's a great addition to, uh, to our wall. Yeah, good. Thanks. Right. That was a fantastic. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.